That's right, the Trailblazers are going to sign him. The Woes dropped the bomb last night, and it's going to be trying to help out a 4-8 and eight team that is the worst 12-game start in the Dame Lillard era. Now, remember, November 8th was the last time we saw him actually playing basketball. That was in a Rockets jersey, but you just announced uh, on Twitter, right, that we might have to wait a little bit longer. We might not get to see him play against the Rockets. <laughs> right, yeah, that, that Monday reunion with the Rockets, mm -hmm. that's not happening. He may play him later in the year, but... Uh, Carmelo Anthony's not going to make his Blazers debut before Tuesday night mm. in New Orleans, and he's got to finish up getting his physical done and then joining the team on the road uh, in Texas. Uh, but Tuesday night is uh, the first possible night you'll see Carmelo Anthony in a Blazers uniform, and, you know, this is a player who they really hope can come in and help this team. Ten-time NBA All-Star, but why now? Tell us why now and how this deal ends up getting done with Neil O'Shea and Carmelo. Well, listen, this is a team that has struggled injuries to, you know, Zach Collins, that the, their four-man, Yusuf Nurkic, is out, you know, since last season. And, you know, Neil O'Shea looked at the landscape and knew that if he was going to bring in a player to play with uh, Damian Lillard, with C.J. McCollum, it had to be a player that commanded their respect. And Carmelo Anthony absolutely does that. And they need somebody who can come in and make shots in the fourth quarter and have the trust of those players to give him the ball late in the game because this is a team that has lost a lot of leads. Um, the six of the last seven games, they've had leads in the fourth. And this is a team that plays a lot of isolation right now. That's a lot of their offense. And certainly Melo is a player who, you know, has thrived in that. And, you know, Neil O'Shea talked with Melo on the phone Thursday before they did the deal and essentially said to him, we need you as much as you need us right now and he knew that there's nobody else out sitting on their couch anywhere else in the NBA who has the gravitas of Melo. There's no player in the G League you could bring in that would shake up this Blazers locker room and I think with these veteran players and a team that was in the Western Conference Finals last year to, to them this was a serious statement to bring him in and you know CJ McCollum worked out all summer with Melo in New York. They share the same trainer and both McCollum and Damon Lillard said let's bring Chris him Brickley, in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chris Brickley. I I really want Melo to win, and I think his game is like an old man game. It can fit in with all the isolated ball they play because he can definitely knock down that catch-and-shoot shot now. But, Jay Rose, here's – I get worried about it just a little bit, okay? Portland has lost their last six to seven games, all right? They're coming up on a six-game road streak and – six-game road game. Yep. Road streak. And also the fact that Melo isn't great – I messed up, RJ. Don't play that. <laughs> you know what I meant to say. Get out of here. But, like, here's my point. They're the, they're the worst defensive team in the fourth quarter. So we all know Melo's not great defensively. Mm -hmm. And my thing is I just want to set expectations for everybody. Yeah. Like, hey, look, this is going to be a little bit of a grind. He's got to find his way. But still, like, we have to give him the benefit of the doubt as a player. I think eventually he will shine, though. It's just crazy to me. Over the last couple of years, I personally have been lauding for Colin Kaepernick to get an opportunity mm -hmm. and for the last year for Melo to get an opportunity. And they both individually getting them on the same weekend. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a win for the league in a lot of ways. Number one, He's a future Hall of Famer, and he deserved to go be out better than what happened in Houston. Basketball-wise, I understand what you're saying, Jay, about them struggling defensively. But they need scoring, and they always needed scoring seemingly from the small forward spot. And without Nurkic, Melo can give you those ISO buckets. He's a heat check player. He's going to have times when you're watching him play, he's going to give you 10 points in a quarter, 15 points and a half. And when he is struggling defensively, you got to take him out of the game. He isn't With a you. young man anymore. Yep. Yeah, no, I, I think when you look at an older player getting an opportunity like Carmelo. Look at Dwight Howard. Look at what Dwight Howard has done. There was a lot of question marks. They interviewed him. They weren't sure if he was the guy. They had a no-nonsense policy for him coming into that locker room, and he's excelled. He's accepted that role. And the one thing that I've always said, it's not a matter of whether or not you will accept the role, is whether you will accept it with enthusiasm. And I believe if Carmelo is as honest and as humble as he has been trying to campaign for a job, then he will show up there and he will accept whatever role will with enthusiasm, and I think that's great for him in the game of and basketball. Remember, the, the contract's non-guaranteed. They can cut, they could cut him loose at any time before January. And you're in a position now where 40% of the league was a free agent last summer. That means it can't be traded until December 15th. It is hard to make a trade right now. So to improve your team, you know, there are not a lot of options out there. Portland thought for what was available, who was available now, that Carmelo gave them the best chance to make some kind of an impact 
on this team. He's not going to save them, and they're not expecting that. Mm -hmm. We know there's going to be an impact made, though, right? Because right now, 45% of the points are scored by CJ and Dame. Like, that's just it. So what kind of impact does he make immediately, though? Do we expect him to have ISO plays run from him? We say the fifth most plays run in the league right now. I think I can give you an attribute that's not on the court, mm -hmm. just playing-wise, as far as scoring buckets. I just think Rich made mention of energy. I think his energy, look, I saw a game when he was playing with the Rockets, okay, when they were playing against the Nets. And my man wasn't starting. It was a big thing, okay? He went back into the locker room until his number was called in the second quarter is when he came back out. All right? So, like, my thing is, Melo being the – Melo was this summer, talking to everybody, being engaged, looking enthusiastic, wanting to play, wanting to buy into that role. I think that sets a different tone for a team than the Melo that we saw in the past. What do you think that we're going to see from Mello? I think he's going to be humble. I think he's going to be enthusiastic, as you guys mentioned. But also, this is not just about the Portland Trailblazers. Mm -hmm. If he does well here, he can probably get attached to another team if it doesn't necessarily work out long term, mm -hmm. if he does d decide to retire. So it's bigger than just what he does with the Portland Trailblazers. You were traded at points later on in your career, and you had to assume different roles. Just walk us through the mindset of going through probably what Melo finds himself going through right oh, now. Oh, so <laughs> I, 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 well, I lived through a year of it. I lived through a year of it. Yeah. So, so when you feel like you're in your prime, mm -hmm. your ego plays a big time factor. Sure. You don't want to reduce role. Mm -hmm. You don't want to play less minutes. Right. And the media knows that. And when it happens on those nights, they come and instigate and ask you mm -hmm. those questions. When you get a little bit older, you should modify your thinking because you're probably getting more tickets to the game than you're playing minutes. Yeah. When that starts to happen, <laughs> you become an older player. People ain't showing up as much to come mm -hmm. and check you out. Mm -hmm. So now for Melo, he's been humbled. Okay, he's been out of the league having people campaigning for him to get an opportunity. Now he's back in the game. I think he's going to get some joy playing in the league. Again. Well, either way, the Trailblazers, they add a former scoring champion and a guy who's second in points, career points, only behind LeBron James. So that is an added value. We'll obviously see how it works. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.